Happy New Year, everybody. Today, we are going to be recapping 2023 and the year that was the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers. We're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and everything else. Let's get into it. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time. For the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morph for when it morph. I made a fake. What is going on, everybody? Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome to the show. 2023 was lit, and we wanted to talk about it, do a little recap. I was away. I actually had a DJ gig in a casino like two hours away, so I had some pre-recorded videos premiere, but I wasn't in the studio. So it feels great to be back and to tap back into the fan club, talk to all of you guys, and today we are going to be breaking down 2023 what was a pretty successful year a few weeks ago i made a video called was the power rangers 30th celebration a bust i don't think so and this video breaks down everything on what was released and i wanted to put a few minutes of that in there and show you guys everything that we got this year and then I want to recap and give you my opinions on how the year went, what was good with that, what was bad with that, what the fans are thinking, and then we will end this video reading some fan comments. So let's get into the recap. Let's start off and say that we released Power Rangers once and always and brought back some original characters and some OG characters from the second season and on from Power Rangers. And it was a great time. I enjoyed it. I think some fans that didn't like it were kind of expecting it to be some TV 14 mature Arrowverse type thing. And there were elements of darkness to it. However, I thought it was just a 2023 version of the 90s show. Like they took that concept and amped it up and I loved it. It got a bunch of hype. A lot of people talked about it. So that in my mind was a success. We didn't really get a full toy line, even though we did get a bunch of lightning collection, Mighty Morphin figures. So there were Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures throughout this year and the 30th anniversary then the second show we got was cosmic fury a continuation of power rangers dino fury with some fan favorite cast members i have grown to really love this crew and this show even though it was only 10 episodes long it was very good they changed a lot of things with power rangers but it worked i love the concept thought it was awesome and now here we are we don't have a lot of content so we're sitting here and being like oh they didn't really give us much but they did they gave us a special in 10 episodes and then when you go look at the toys i forgot how many toys we actually saw in 2023 Early in the year, we saw some re-releases for Dino Fury and some new items like the pink and green. We also saw the Die Metro Zord pop out, a Gold Fury Blade Blaster, and then you had this team up pack here that was on Amazon and whatnot. Then for Cosmic Fury, we got three items, your Cosmic Fury Morpher, your Zenith Ranger Roleplay Kit, and then the Power Rangers Cosmic Fury Zord. I own all of these except for that pack. And then when it comes to the Lightning Collection, we had over 30 items. I forgot how many items we really got in 2023, but we got the Master Morpher, we got the Omega Rangers, we got uh, the Alien Rangers. There was a bunch of really cool things that happened in 2023. We got our first Turbo Ranger and TJ. Well, technically I know we got the Phantom Ranger, but the first actual Turbo Ranger 
Lightning Collection did give us some good things in 2023. Like, there was a full list of these items online at GreenRanger.com. Shout out GreenRanger.com for putting all of this information together. But yes, there was over 30 items released from the collection this year on top of what we already got. So that's over 40 figures released. And when you go over to the Super 7 collection, we had a lot of figures released. The ultimate action figures were all released from January, August to November. And then it looks like we have more retro style action figures from Walmart. Man, there was a lot of Mighty Morphin stuff that did come out this year that I kind of forgot about, but hey, overall, I did think it was a good year and a successful year for the brand. Hasbro even admitted in an investor call that Power Rangers and Peppa Pig were leading the way and keeping things going. Hasbro has been taking hits lately, and any signs of showing that Power Rangers can help them means that they are going to invest. It's just kind of the logical thing to do. If you see you're struggling, you look at the brands that are actually, you know, in the green and you're going to double down. I believe the future is bright, but in 2023, I had this kind of theory for a while that we've heard things but Hasbro's never came out and confirmed anything but I believe that the reboot was supposed to come out like last year 2023 right and that got canceled pushed back turned into a series whatever and they had to double down and give us some content for 2023 that's why we got a cosmic fury 10 episode season that's why we got a once and always special things to build some hype so those were two projects within the media and tv shows movies specials whatever you want to call these these were projects the fans actually got to see and they tried their best with the budget that they had to give us a good project make a good show but also kind of give some type of nostalgia from the past cosmic fury had multiple times that they were talking about you know old rangers or we saw billy they're talking about zordon and then once and always was like a 2023 version of mighty Morphin power rangers that was awesome and then we also got all those toys we just talked about like before i did all the research i was thinking we were gonna find 20 to 30 toys when you total everything up there's over 50 figures released on top of everything else that's already out there or being redistributed like the white and red lightning collection helmets there are a lot of things out there that the fans are getting and this was one of their more i don't want to call it like overload because it wasn't like hundreds and hundreds of items but they did ramp up production a little bit this year for power rangers and there are some fans that don't think that they did enough but there are other brands out there that go into a 25th anniversary 30th anniversary and they'll give you one thing they'll give you one line of toys they'll give you one show or one movie they tried to do a couple things for the fans and then they gave us a nice amount of merch to go with it overall i thought it was a good 2023 what are your guys's thoughts though because that's really what i want to know and what i want to hear so let's get into it Jonathan said, I'm going to be honest here. I was expecting much more from Cosmic Fury than what we got. See, I thought it was good and I know everyone's got their own opinion. So I'll never say you're wrong or anything like that. I won't say I'm right either. I like what I like and I thought it was good for 10 episodes. I wish it was longer and there were a few aspects that felt rushed. I can't disagree with that. But I thought overall, for the 10 episodes, bringing everybody back, it was pretty cool. Samurai Spirited said, I still wish we could get more toys for Cosmic Fury like the figures. Man, I agree. That is the one downside that maybe that's what Jonathan was talking about, like expecting more. Because 
there's no figures. And even Simon Bennett said in, in an interview that like he at least thought they were going to make figures because they had some input on how the suit was designed for the figures. So there was talk about it. But here we are in 2024 with no figures. We might be talking about this soon. Like if we don't hear anything in the next few weeks, I don't know, man. Like I know that like even last year in 2023, we were still getting Dino Fury stuff in like the spring, late winter. But at the same time, are we gonna see more Cosmic Fury stuff? Is this the year they release the figures? I don't know, man. Davin said, I like the once and always special. It's better than the 20th anniversary special that Neo Saban did. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was better. They did real good with that one. Power Ranger Roblox said, I hope we get Cosmic Fury figures sooner than later. Man, I am with you. NGH Studios said, if I'm completely honest with you, the so-called 30th anniversary season was a whole bust. Dang. Like, if you go look at what they put, I mean, I guess if you don't like any of the shows or any of the figures and stuff, like, I can't, like, I can't tell you you're wrong. If if you don't like anything they put out, then I guess it is a bust to you. I actually liked a lot of the stuff they did and they gave us a nice amount of it. There's a few things that like I wish could change. I wish Cosmic Fury was longer. I wish we got figures. And I wish that once and always was a tad longer too. Or we just got some news that they were confirming a part two for it. So we, we kind of, you know, could talk about that, but you know what? It's okay. Jay said, I will give them a seven as well for the overall Hasbro effort. I will give Simon and the team an eight for their effort with Cosmic Fury. Yeah, I give it like a seven, eight, man. Like I'm right there. Like they actually tried. Did they do their due diligence every single thing and make sure that they're spending all the money and got every single connection and every interview? I don't think so. But I think that they did for, for what they were working with. Because you have to remember, too, this show premiered during the actor strike, meaning none of the Ranger cast members could do interviews and could publicly promote this. Like it was hard. They had to be cryptic. It was that was a tough time. And I even said that would be hard knowing that like a show that you've been working on for a while now finally premieres and you can't even talk about it like man that would be rough Dwayne said Cosmic Fury should have had toys out especially before the holiday why didn't Hasbro want to make some money before the toy line hiatus I believe that they didn't know at the time that Cosmic Fury like Power Rangers was going to do better than what it was I think that they low-key thought that this was going to be like a, a decent year but they kind of dropped the ball a little bit there because i think that if they would have released a line they would have made some money on the toys i think that that's just a sure thing even if it was a small batch like what they did with dino fury those were small batches and they went quick and I've got a bunch of them and they're reselling for triple the value right now. I know because I got I got some boom towers. I got some pink rangers. I got basically like all, the whole set of those. And because they weren't released in a giant set, like do you remember the 2017 Power Rangers? All of those figures at some point were in a clearance bin because there was an overload. Meaning like they sold like a bunch of Red Rangers and Blue Rangers. But if there was 20 Red Rangers there and kids only buy five of them, that means there's 15 Red Rangers left over. That was a weird time for Power Rangers. I found a lot and I mean a lot of figures in the clearance at that time. But also there were collectors still knowing what was going on. So we were always coming up. And now when it comes to figures, besides like the pink and yellow Rangers around here, I don't see 
a lot of figures on clearance. Now, when I go on social media, sometimes I do see people put pictures of them at Ollie's or Ross or something like that, but it's not a ridiculous amount of clearance figures compared to some of the, the other Hasbro items. And that's something that Hasbro does have to get under control going into 2024. Let's save some money and save some money so we can put some towards Power Rangers so we can make some money. Johnny said the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers was great. We got two projects, Cosmic Fury once and always. It was way better than the 25th anniversary. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of fans in the comments here saying Cosmic Fury was great. They love it. Savage Sal did say I gave it a five. They could spend more money. Yeah, they could have, but this is what I'll tell you. All right. So Johnny Young Bosch said in a panel that I attended that they used a smaller budget compared to other Netflix special series shows on once and always and they they said hey take this chunk if it's successful and the fans get behind it we could do more that's pretty much what he said it's paraphrased and they did the same thing with cosmic fury just 10 episodes and the fans ate it up but what are your guys's thoughts let me know in the comments. Shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Orger, Roderick Ham, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys again for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Go. We, we have been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say something funny. <laughs>